It's not over. You ready to watch some uh, some other teams tonight? I really am. There's <laughs> a lot going on, uh, and that's how I want to start the. Uh, that's how I want to start today's show. Is just going over the playoff scenarios uh, for the Flyers to make it and not. And really, this could this could come down to Wednesday uh, if things play out a certain way. But honestly, I'm tired of people asking me, and I just send them links <laughs> whenever they do because I can't explain it. There's like nine if then statements. Uh, for what happens if the Flyers, but Charlie, being the number one hockey beat reporter in Philadelphia that he is, put out uh, an article this morning on allphly.com or last night. Who knows? You write it all crazy. Wrote it hours. last night. It was wrote published it. at seven a.m. Okay. this morning. It's this guy. I could have put, put it out last night, but my thing is like, why throw it out there at one a.m.? Always working. It's be this first guy. thing in the morning. Uh, so you put out the different clinching scenarios and all the different things that could happen in this article on allphly.com. I suggest you all read it, but since we're here, if you could just give us a, a quick breakdown of all of the, you know, 19 different scenarios that need to play out. It's really not that many, uh, but yeah. let, fill us in on what has to happen. Cause I don't have it memorized. It's complicated just because there are a lot of well, four teams well, for one spot. Well, if this yeah. happens, then this happens. And if this happens, then this happens. But there are some fairly easy ways to explain it. Really. If you're breaking down Monday night's games, because once we get into Tuesday's games and then potentially a Wednesday game as well, that's when it starts getting complicated. But for tonight, if you are sitting at home or sitting at a bar and want to have an idea of what you should be rooting for, there are three games tonight that matter. There is Washington against Boston. There is Detroit against Montreal. And there is Pittsburgh against Nashville. Those are your three. Now, the two teams that could theoretically be straight up eliminated, that they could be teams that Flyers no longer have to worry about anymore after tonight, are Detroit and Pittsburgh. If Detroit loses in regulation... They're done. They are no longer relevant. They are out of the playoff mix. If Pittsburgh loses in regulation, they are done. They are out of the playoff mix. So if you want to really boil it down to its easiest thing, root for those two teams to lose in regulation because if either or both of those teams lose, they are no longer even on the Flyers' radar. Suddenly, it would just become, if both of them lose, it would just become Flyers' caps. The Capitals are a little bit more complicated because... Obviously, the Flyers are playing the Capitals on Tuesday. So that is a head-to-head -head matchup where it's essentially, it could be a four-point swing if it's a regulation game. The big importance about the Capitals game tonight is this. If the Capitals win, the Flyers would have to beat the Capitals in regulation. Because if you think about it, if the Capitals win this game, they would be up to 89 points. Win this game as in Monday's game. They would be up to 89 points. Flyers are at 87. The Flyers do have the tiebreaker over the Capitals, so if the two teams finish tied, and the Flyers obviously would have to win their game, that would be how they, they have the tiebreaker, they win, then they would get in. But if it's an overtime game where the Capitals nab a point, the Flyers would finish at 89 points, the Capitals would finish at 90, Flyers win, but don't win because the Capitals get the sufficient number of points to pass them. So with the Capitals... Even if they lose in regulation, it's not over for them. Then it would all come down to tomorrow's game, Flyers-Capitals. But it's still important for the Capitals to lose because that gives the Flyers the ability to beat them any way possible and still get it. They could win in a shootout. It could be 2010 all over again in theory. But for that to be the case, the Caps have to lose tonight. Just looking at... Um the tie-breaking scenarios. So right now, Flyers and Caps, both at 87 points, both at 30 regulation wins. Would Is the tiebreaker going to be goal differential? And um, if it is, how fucking funny is it? It's I, minus 40 I, well, versus minus 25. I looked all this up last night, and I know I'm right, but I don't, yeah. I don't remember the specific tiebreaker. I do know that... If the if these two teams end up tied 89-89, the Flyers will have the tiebreaker. I know that for a fact. I don't re don't remember exactly which tiebreaker it is, but I know for a fact they would have the tiebreaker. So it's the tiebreakers are it's su superior point percentage, but they're all eventually going to have the same number of games played, so that doesn't matter. Uh, number of games won, excluding overtime or shootouts, so just regulation wins is two, then regulation overtime wins is three. Uh, total wins is four, and then 
points against each other. Okay, so yeah, goal differential is way down there. Yeah, it's not to like six or seven. I believe what it would be, and Damn, again, that don't, been again, really don't hold me to this. It would either be head to head or it would be total wins. I think it's going to come down to probably total wins. Because, or, it, yeah, because in yeah. theory, let's say the Capitals lose in overtime tonight, so they get a point. They're at 88 points. Then, in theory, if they end up losing in overtime to the Flyers and they have 89, the Flyers have 89, the Flyers would have more wins. Therefore, they get the tiebreaker. All right. So, so these- just, just know the Capitals one is the most straightforward. It's if they lose in regulation, then... The Flyers can beat them anyway and essentially eliminate them if the Capitals what was that? If if the Capitals lose in regulation, Flyers can beat them regulation, overtime shootout. If the Capitals lose in regular see now i'm just getting confused this is all much easier if i write it so just read my article go to allphly.com uh if the capitals lose in regulation tonight they're not eliminated though no there's okay there, no the, the, the penguins can be eliminated the red wings the can capitals be eliminated. cannot be eliminated and tonight. so it could come down to yes. that game 82 flyers caps yes. and then depending on how the caps game goes tonight that depends on what happens tomorrow it's a lot like wrestlemania night one and two it's you know if, if Cody and Seth won, it was going to be straight up rules on night two. If the bloodline won, it was going to be bloodline rules on night two. And then you figure out what right. happens after that for the main event. So that's what we're looking at. The team that's the most complicated. <laughs> Charlie's just glazes over. The team that's the most complicated is Pittsburgh. Yes. Because the thing with Pittsburgh is that there are scenarios where this could all end up getting pushed off to Wednesday. If the Penguins lose in regulation, they're done. So just root for that because yeah. it's real complicated. And I'd rather not have to be fully dependent upon the day after the Flyers finish out their regular season to determine whether there's going to be playoff hockey in Philadelphia again. But there is a scenario where the Flyers win on Tuesday. They knock out, they knock out Washington. They knock out Detroit. But if Pittsburgh then, when they play the Islanders on Wednesday... If they win, they would knock out the Flyers, and the Flyers just have to be all huddled around their TVs hoping that the Penguins lose. So hopefully that doesn't even become a scenario because the Penguins lose tonight in regulation and they're done. It's absolutely going to come down to that, Charlie. It's going to come down to Wednesday to determine whether Sidney Crosby is the MVP and takes his team on a cup run or they end up somehow winning the lottery. Uh, I know that with the place they're going to finish in the standings, they can't, but who says? They make up the lottery rules for the Penguins as they go all the time. So here's a very fun, (laughs) not fun, it would be stressful, of course, but it would be fun in the sense of just sheer chaos and weirdness, a fun scenario for the Penguins and Flyers. So let's say the Penguins get an overtime loss tonight. They get one point. That would allow them to stay alive. They would not be eliminated if they can squeeze a point out of this game. But let's say they lose in overtime or a shootout. Then the Flyers win. They beat the Capitals. The Capitals are done. Detroit's done. In that scenario, the Penguins would have to win in regulation or overtime. The Penguins winning in a shootout in that scenario, the Flyers would still beat them. So there is a plausible scenario here where the Penguins might have to pull their, pull their goalie, goalie for the whole third period. In the, no, in a, no, because they, in so, overtime, they yeah. would have to pull their goalie in overtime because a shootout win does not help them. Yes. Only an overtime win. So we could see four on three overtime hockey in the final, final game of the Eastern Conference to decide whether it's the Penguins or the Flyers. <laughs> I'll tell you, as dumb as the playoff format is in the NHL, and the only reason this is happening is because the Eastern Conference like stinks after the top three, four teams. Yeah, it's real bad. Um, this has worked out pretty well. <laughs> like, this is a pretty good playoff race. I mean, <laughs> none of these teams are any good, which guarantees one of them, whoever gets in, is winning the first oh, round. Oh, yeah. One of these like, teams is going, like, whether it's the Islanders or whoever team gets yeah. the second wild card, they're pulling an upset like, because it's hot. It's like, absolutely. Because, because it shouldn't happen, yeah, so it, it will happen. It should not happen. The only reason we're in this race is because all these teams stink, but <laughs> it's going to happen. And the NHL, I, I'll give, like, this has been... One hell of a regular season. Like, the MVP race is awesome. You're going to have maybe two guys hit 100 assists. You're maybe going to have a guy score 70 goals. None of them might win the MVP. Like, (laughs) this has been an awesome season. I will say it's worked out pretty well. Uh, And just get ready 
for a 34 team league soon. Anyway. But what so one thing I do want to go over real quick are the playoff odds because okay. we've done this. So as usual, as <laughs> usual out on the odds. Don't tell me the odds. Never tell me the odds. Uh, as usual, Money Puck is the highest on the Flyers as they've been this entire process. They have the Flyers' chances at 18%. Hockey Viz has the Flyers' chances at actually a fairly robust 16.2%. They're right near where, where uh, Money Puck is. The Athletic, those got that that damn Dom L and his numbers. Can't can't trust him. Fuck anyone at the Athletic <laughs> or whoever worked at the Athletic, quite honestly. Um uh, Dom L's model has the Flyers at 11%. So it's all double digits. All the models have them in double digits, which is, there is a chance. This is not the real possibility. And I was saying this is for the show. I think they're going to make it because, because why would because the Flyers are the chaos organization. And this is the most chaotic, insane way for them to make the playoffs. So like, of course they're going to make the playoffs in this way. No, it's simply because we've started making our off season plans. And now the off season yeah. is going to be like four. No, nah, they're going to win around. <laughs> so it's going to be like a month later than we planned. Yeah. on. Uh, which honest, listen, in the grand scheme of things, there are much worse things than like it's just us no, having to do a few more. Games. My, my thing is, is just the flyers are all chaos. Oh and yeah. Like it, there would be no more flyers way to make the playoffs than to lose eight straight games, have everyone completely out on the team to the point where people are theorizing like five days ago that they might fire the coach. And then somehow we by were, the most ridiculous combination of factors, make the playoffs anyway. We were talking about the nine pick like four days yeah. ago. Yeah. And now we're back in on the play. I'm way off. It, it, it would just be the most on brand flyers thing. ever. I'm already talking like, should we on Wednesday? Like, like I'm already <laughs> playing. I'm, We'll we'll get to it when we get to it. Things have to play out. We all city like the mayor. 